Hey y'all, what is good? Happy Sunday. I'm so glad you're here. I know this month we've been talking about Noah and hearing from the Lord. Um, last week, we specifically talked about the different ways you can hear from the Lord. So through his word, by reading the Bible, through creativity, through worship and music, um, and through nature. So 1 Kings 19, 1 through 12 says, you won't hear his voice in the wind. You won't, I'm paraphrasing. You won't hear his voice in the wind. You won't hear his voice in the earthquake, but it will be a still small voice. This week, we are going to talk about preparing to hear God's word, waiting on his response and carrying out his will and plan. The scripture of Noah is between Genesis chapters five through nine. God was not happy with how we as his creation were living, so he wiped the slate clean by telling Noah to create the ark. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 18 through 22, he says, But I will set up my covenant with you. You will go into the ark together with your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives. From all living things, from all creatures, you are to bring a pair, male and female, into the ark with you to keep them alive. From each kind of bird, from each kind of livestock, and from each kind of everything that crawls on the ground, a pair from each will go in with you to stay alive. Take some from every kind of food and stow it as food for you and for the animals. Noah did everything exactly as God commanded him. So God told Noah exactly, word for word, what he needed him to do. If he had not done that, they wouldn't have survived. So he quite literally gave him the blueprint, right? Me personally, I can connect with this because I just get anxious immediately when in any type of confrontation, with any argument, I don't know what to say. My mind goes blank, I get shaky, all this other stuff, right? When I do that, I sometimes don't even think of a response to like three days later, which doesn't help. But if we can stay connected in God's word and we listen to him and hear from him, we know exactly what we need to say in those situations to also love on people and be kind. Sometimes we just want to go off. We don't know what we're even saying sometimes because we're riding on our emotions, right? But honestly, when we're prepared and we know his word, we know exactly what to say in every situation and in every circumstance. So I challenge you guys today to continue to read his word, know what he calls us to do and what he wants us to do, and be prepared for anything and everything. So... I'm going to pray us out, and I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for bringing us all together. I thank you for hearing your word and learning about Noah. I thank you so much that we have a good fellowship and an amazing time together. In your loving name, I pray. Amen. Peace out, y'all.